Today we'll travel to the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, home to one of the most significant archaeological finds of our time, the Dead Sea Scrolls. Jerusalem is unique in the world in terms of its religious significance. For Jews, Jerusalem is both a focal point of devotion and a psychic center of nationhood. For Christians, it is the place where Jesus was crucified, buried and resurrected, shaping the Christian faith. And in the Islamic faith, Jerusalem is known as the holy place where Mohammed ascended into heaven. Jerusalem is among the oldest continuously living cities in modern times. The purpose was to tell a story and to let the people understand when they come to the shrine to get into the scroll site. Visitors enter the exhibit through a tunnel that creates the illusion one is entering a cave, much like the caves in which the scrolls themselves were found. And the very shape of the building was inspired by the lids of the pottery jars in which the scrolls were preserved for 2,000 years. The saga of the Dead Sea Scrolls reads a little like a good novel, complete with colorful characters, a large dose of intrigue, and several unsolved mysteries. This amazing story begins here on the edge of the Dead Sea, just 30 miles east of Jerusalem. There are several versions of the story. According to the most often told legend, in 1947, a Bedouin goat herd was following his flock in these hills when he came across a cave. He tossed a rock into the cave opening and heard pottery breaking. Thinking he had discovered treasure, the young Bedouin brought two others back to the cave. But instead of gold and jewels, they found large clay vessels, some of which contained very old scrolls. Of course, this is only one version of the story. 